I think to be a traveler, it's, it's to just immerse yourself, being able to be open to the differences. We take students who have expressed curiosity in expanding their boundaries. Putting them in a really foreign context and teaching them new skills to cope and expand their mind into a much larger global context. Empower young people and then make a global citizen out of them. Just have experiences that you can never expect. Travel to the unknowns. We just really have the opportunity to interact with the people here and it, it's not as if we're on a tour. We're really in the country, we're really interacting with what it, life is like here. Development starts with self, understanding yourself and understanding your history, your culture, um, before you know, assuming anything of the culture where you're traveling.
the idea is not about community service. It's about learning service. Learning how to be service-minded, to be sustainably affiliated, to, to work toward a common ground where there's a benefit for everyone. I wasn't one to ever plan, you know, a trip and really fully go for it because I just didn't believe in my navigation skills. And, <laughs> um, and then here it's, it's really gotten me to be confident in myself and to really, you know, go for it and say, like, I can do it. It doesn't matter what your expectation is. As soon as you arrive in the countries in which we work and you get to some of the communities where we spend a lot of our time, all your expectations fly out the window.
gotten to the point where I can at least express the most basic needs. And so it's less like being in a silent film and more like being in a comedy. So <laughs> I'm um, actually getting to know the people around me. And so I've begun that journey and that's really exciting. Cortaron nuestras ramas, cortaron nuestros troncos, pero jamás cortarán nuestras raíces. Bistare, bistare zanus, bistare gae awasya punza. Atiti devo bhava. I have taken students to my father's village and to really give more information about my father. My father is a Sufi religious teacher. So, and at some point when the student arrived, one of them was, he said, I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in God. But when he came in that place, it was at night, we arrived late. And he somehow stood for some minute at the center of that place. And he said, I'm not religious, it's true, but I can sense that there is a positive vibration, something major coming out of this place, and I can feel it. <laughs> 